Okay, here we go. Um, my view on blockers is that they shouldn't be given to children um, purely because of the warnings in the um, patient information leaflet given here. Um, Zolodex LA should not be given to children. Says it all really, doesn't it? The manufacturers, Abbott Laboratories, say this stuff is not suitable for children. It also isn't safe. Um, let's go through some of the more pleasant side effects, starting with the, the less dangerous ones and moving all the way up to the um, more lethal side effects, as we say. Right, here's some of the minor side effects you may feel. Shortness of breath, dizziness, low blood pressure, hot flushes, back pain, problems with passing urine, bone pain, thinning of your bones, rises in blood sugar, tingles in your, tingling in your fingers and toes, that one does my head in at night, um, weight gain, yep, yeah, got that, I've got the um, bone density reduction, um, changes in the blood pressure, haven't had that, swelling and tenderness, changes in mood including depression, definitely had that one a few times, aha, more rare ones but not that rare, psychotic pro problems including hallucinations and hearing and searing things aren't there, yep, fucking harmless, ah, the best one here, the development of a tumour on your pituitary gland in your head, if you already have a tumour and you use Zolodex LA, the tumour may bleed and collapse. These effects are very rare. Pituitary creamers can cause severe headaches, feeling of being sick, loss of eyesight or becoming unconscious. Clearly, this is a harmless drug, you know, because all harmless drugs can make you, <laughs> make you lose consciousness and die. Um, unknown side effects, side effects that, that do happen, we just don't know how often they happen. Hair loss liver problems, blood clots in your lungs, inflammation of lungs, heart damage, wow, and they're giving this to nine year olds, that's sick, um, yeah, definitely, definitely not suitable for children, it says here, um, Zeldex LA is a glycerine, glycerine, it is used to treat prostate cancer. It should not be used in children or women. Right. <laughs> These money-grabbing bastards have, have done a, a cost-benefit analysis and they've worked out that they'll lose more money from being sued from this stuff being given to children and women than they'd make from selling it. Um, that tells you how dangerous it truly is. Please don't give this stuff to kids because it can kill them. It fucked up my bones and it's going to completely screw up a generation of trans kids forever. Right, um, now have a little demonstration. Um, this is the box it comes in. You inject it every 12 weeks. I've been on this, like I say, about 12, 13 years. Manifanatrix recommends six months tops. Um, the doctors are amazed. The, the doctors always want to know, you know, what I feel like and, and what it's been doing to me and any notable side effects. Every doctor I've come across, I'm the longest that's ever been on this by by quite some way, but you know it's it, it, it keeps it keeps the dirty thoughts away, shall we say, and and keeps keeps libido under control and completely castrates me to the point that I don't really have a sex drive. I mean, I have a sex life, but that's um I don't have a sex drive. That they're, they're, they're two different things, and um, I don't think a lot of trans people, young trans people, have a concept of sex. So they don't have a concept of what losing your libido really means. Um. Yeah, right, I think that's it. Don't give it to kids, it'll fuck them up. But I'm an adult, so I'm now going to demonstrate Zoradex LA.